Hello Autodesk people, my name is Jay Ayala of Autodesk. I'm an engineering technical specialist based out of the Pacific Northwest and the video you're about to see is AutoCademy P2010 Schedules Tables Part 4 of 4. So if you've been keeping up with this scheduling series, this slide will be very familiar to you. Essentially it spells out how the schedule hierarchy works. At the top level is the object just below that is the property set definitions and both of those enable us to report things with schedule tags and schedule tables. In order for us to create a new schedule you simply go to the manage ribbon and the style manager allows us access to documentation objects. What we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new schedule table style. Notice there's nothing in here right now but that's easily changeable. We can add a new style and here I'm going to name this custom pump schedule and uh, we'll visit each one of these tabs here um, so in order to for us to edit this I can just highlight it and uh, let's change for instance here let's change the table title to I don't know company standard pump schedule alright so now we're gonna change the how this looks the feel of it I just wanna make sure that everything is going to be black uh, the line work, the text itself, everything. And I can change it pretty easily. Now let's go back to some of these tabs. Applies to. Now we're making a pump schedule. And pumps fall under a classification within the multi-view part um, object. So if I select that, now I can see the classifications on the right. Now I can expand this and I can schedule pretty much any kinds of these objects here. But let's schedule a pump, which is what you see here. Now, the columns, how do we add these columns? Now, this is actually a lot of the work has already been done for us. We've created property set definitions for each one of these columns in an earlier exercise that I saw in one of the videos. And in order to add a column, all we have to do is click on the Add Column button, tell it which property set to look at, and then tell it which property we want. So here's the mark number. Now, in the heading, I'm just going to type mark number. All right? Now I'll go through this process of clicking on add column and I'll add the property that I want and I'll do that for the location, I'll do that for what the pump serves, um, I'll do that for pretty much all of these columns, every one of them, I'll go through and I'll add them manually. Now, I think you guys get the point here so I'm just going to skip forward a little bit. Okay so here now that I've got all the columns in you can see as I'm scrolling left and right, uh, you can see that I've got all the columns in. Now there's a couple of things that I want to do. In this pump schedule, in the Excel version, I can see that I've got a subheader for some of these columns. Now we can do that in AutoCAD MEP as well. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is highlight the columns that you want a header on. And at the bottom, there's an add header function. And here you just type what the header is supposed to be, in this case, motor. Okay, and now if we scroll left and right again, I can show you that it's pretty much starting to look exactly like that Excel schedule table that you just saw. Okay, so now that we've got our schedule table defined, let's add that within our drawing here. Now, I, we can select any one of these, but for this purpose, I'll just pick on mechanical pump. But before I do that, I'm going to go look at the properties. And I'm going to tell it that the style I want to use is not mechanical pump, it's the custom pump schedule that I just created. Okay, now following the command prompt yet again, I'll simply, this time, I'll select objects. But check this out. I'm going to select everything on this file. But notice how it only selected the pumps, and it did not select the pump tags. And that's because of what the schedule table applies to. Now let's take a look at this. Now I can see that in my um, schedule they're not in the proper order. So what I'll do here is I'm going to use the sorting method. So I can add my mark number as the primary sort method here. And I'll do that in ascending order by the mark number. So now I can see that my style here is properly sorted in ascending order. Now there's a whole lot of clever things that we can do with pump, with schedules in particular. If we take a look at the properties here, I just kind of want to focus in on one thing. I want to show you that this schedule automatically updates. That's currently set to yes. 
and that just down below it all it will also automatically add new objects that's also set to yes watch this as I copy this down my schedule has updated so now I can see 201 through 206 and also my tags have automatically incremented themselves okay so there's a couple of other things maybe we made a mistake and these pumps aren't on the second floor maybe these are on the first floor so we can simply tell Auto Academy P to give start out with a pump number of 101 and up in the command prompt it's telling me hey select the number you want to be 101 so I'll select the first pump and if I look back at the command prompt it's now asking me to select 102 so what I'll do here is I'll pick in the proper order that I want them in and Auto Academy P automatically renumbers not just the tag but it also affects the schedule as well so this is a pretty good way to keep up to date with your DWG files as you're designing them. Um, most companies won't use scheduling this way. I think they will use it in this manner, but more importantly, I think companies will want to schedule everything on all floors all at once. So let me show you how we, we can take care of that with Auto Academy P. Now, this file contains um, all these floors all in the same file. It's got um, pumps on the first floor as well as up above on the fourth floor there are more pumps now a lot of companies are going to want to use this scheduling method in this manner what we'll do is we'll create a new view file and uh, we'll just make a general view file so when I hit finish here it's going to open up the new file with that xref attached to it already so here you can see all the pumps okay so what we'll do now is we'll insert our um, company standard pump schedule now again I'll just choose any one of these schedules and in the properties I can go and change the style to my company standard schedule now I'll just go ahead and pick and drop this in this spot here and uh, there's one thing I want to change in the properties if I look at the properties there's this little scan xrefs option and I want to tell it that yes I want it to scan the xrefs and now what I can do is right click and tell it the selection I need to add the XREF to it which is what you see here now all of the pumps regardless of what floor they're on are being listed here's some pumps on 101 and 401 so those are obviously the level that they belong to now schedules are pretty cool you can do a lot of things with them especially clean them up in other words if I wanted to show pumps that are on level 1 differently from pumps that are on level 4 I can do that as well now that's using a little grip but in this case you know it's a short schedule I don't need to do that if your schedules get long then you would want to use that now now that we've got it sized properly in the command prompt I'm gonna type the word view which activates my view um, manager and I'm gonna create a new view and I'm gonna call this my pump schedule view and notice that only the things that are in the white area are what are going to be shown in my uh, in my sheet file so I can simply choose a rectangle right specifically around that schedule table and that's the only thing that will be shared with my sheet file okay okay so now we're going to create a new sheet now I'll just simply go to my mechanical section and tell it that I'm gonna make a new schedule sheet now here's my schedule sheet I'll double click to open it now in order to bring in my schedule it is so simple to do that I'll simply open up my view my project navigator here and click and drag my pump schedule view right into my file here. Auto Academy P is going to do all the work for me. It's going to cut the viewport, it's going to do all the X-Rafing. All I have to do is select a placement for it. Four things to remember about schedule tables. Schedule tables are reporting mechanisms that work off of the property set definitions. You can customize the look and feel of the tables to exactly match your existing Excel schedules. Schedules list only what's in your drawings, no more, no less. You can schedule a single DWG file or multiple DWG files all at once, giving you the opportunity to use them for designing or for documenting. On behalf of Autodesk, my name is Jay Ayala, and the video you just saw is AutoCademy P 2010 Schedules Tables. Part 404.